Hello, my name is Anthony from Carolina Design with Wood. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make custom cornhole boards and illustrate a couple of boards that I've made myself for other people. Thank you very much. All right, so when this one person is just trying to cut pieces of wood, yes, I go ahead and get Home Depot or Lowe's to cut it in half, just no reason to fully cut a four by eight sheet. So I lay it down. The track's already set at 24 inches from here to here. So the cornhole boards need to be 24 inches by 48 inches. Uh, just for safety precautions, I'm gonna start. been making cornhole boards for about five or six years now. So a lot of fun. Also gets a lot of spare wood. To attach the frame or to make the end pieces, two by four, cut to 24 inch. I like to use the Craig jig holes, as you can see here. Then got the bit already in, already set to the depth, already set to the height that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some Craig screws in to get them started. Push them in just enough to help with the frame up. Okay, just to get it started, I line up the outside of the two by four and just Screw it in, not all the way tight, just to make sure that it levels up. This way, and this one, this way, to align them up on top of the piece of wood. The purpose of this is just to make sure when you're screwing the board together that it doesn't warp turn, because you want the top of the cornhole board to be as level as Possible. Is it unnecessary to have two drills, a DeWalt and a Milwaukee? No, I think it makes it a little bit quicker. Um, I like both brands, they both work great. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre do my holes. I like to uh, pre stick the hole and then fill them with wood putty. It just takes up a nice approach on them.
inches apart, dead on. So 12 inches is the center, and then the center of the hole is nine inches. So there's a multiple ways that you can get the hole created. You could use a router. Um, I particularly like to use a six inch hole bit. Uh, line up. to line it up to make sure. And as you can tell, a perfectly six inch hole bit. It's very warm to the touch. Probably should be wearing a mask. <coughs> so let's do that. And now it's time to apply some putty, wood filler, minwax, color changing is fine. Um, it's been a little while, you just wanna you know, get the chemicals back mixed up a little bit. You're gonna sand off the excess, so you don't wanna really put a lot on each hole. So. go there, flip it over, there, and do the same thing on the other side. I am a firm believer in setting things up to be quick as possible. Behold my bolts. So just line it up. Okay, so now we're gonna do the legs for the cornhole board. They're one foot, exactly one foot, two by four. I'm gonna cut it at a 45 degree angle, like so. And I like
like to put the hole right in the middle of the two lines. So I just come straight across here. these legs ready. Wing nuts are so much easier to use over the hex. Collapsible reason storage, the legs can be tightened or loosened. If you're not using them, there's no reason to take up this much storage space. All right, we have the completed set of cornhole boards, birch tops. Um, they are ready to be painted, ready to be stained, anything you would like to do with them. Put your favorite sports theme on them. No go. Boom. Boom. So I got two hole in ones. I'll take that. Anthony from Carolina Design with Wood. Thank you for this uh, time with me and showing you how to make cornhole boards from scratch in your own garage.